Welcome down to the Malted Man Cave. I'm Keith. And I'm Dave. Tonight we're reviewing a Highland single malt from Balaken. Actually, Edward Dower is the distillery. Balaken is the expression. <laughs> Say it again. All right, so we're back, and we gotta get the elephant out of the room. Sad my, face. my bracket is busted. My Buckeyes have let us down. It's not bad. You wanna know who my original Final Four pick was? Uh, Buckeye, Buckeye, Buckeye. Well, he's one of them. Ohio State, Illinois, Mi Michigan, Michigan, pure high, and then I think pure Mid Ten. Now Kansas was my Kansas. other one. I, I don't know. I just I thought Gonzaga. I didn't think Gonzaga was for real. I didn't yeah. think that Baylor was I had, for real. I, I didn't watch enough basketball <sighs> this year yeah, to yeah. even have a clue. Yeah. But we'll get to that a little later. That'll be our question tonight. Who we think is going to win now that our brackets have been busted. Busted. But tonight we're going to be reviewing a special that I got from the Whiskey World. A little bit smaller bottle than usual. A UK special. Um, you, for the UK market from Signatory Vintage Scotch Whiskey Company. And pit lockery, um, blacken 10 straight from the cask, Oloroso sherry cask matured. So, uh -oh. it's, peated oh, and it's, it's peated and it's sherry. Oh, oh, wow. Although, you've been liking some, yeah, sherry, I have. Like, there's yeah. been a few sherry expressions that Glenn Drunk we did that you really liked. So, this one, like I said, 10 years in Oloroso sherry casks, distilled on the 12th of August 2009 and was bottled on February 18th, 2020. Cast number 183, outturn total of 979 bottles, natural color, mm. cast strength, and not chill filtered. Mm. Check, 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 check. Comes in at 60.3% ABV. And as, as I said, it's distilled in Scotland by Edward Dower Distillery and Pit Lockery. Mm. Anything else I want to say about this? One of the one of the better 12-year-old whiskeys that I've ever had was a Balakin 12 Burgundy that mm. was graciously gifted to me from George and Amy Kaplan. Um, good friends and, and patrons of the channel. Obviously, they've been overly generous to us over the years. Some would say two. Yeah, good people. So, thank you. I think that was that the first Balakin. I think I'd had a Balakin before, but I think that Balakin was the first bottle that I had owned for myself was that Balakin 12 Burgundy. So, we shall see. I saw this and I was like, man... If that's straight from the cast is anything even close to like that 12 burgundy, mm -hmm. it's going to be worth the purchase. So without further ado, Ooh. let's get into the whiskey. Talk dirty. Talk dirty oh, dirty. man. So how's life been, man? We, we've been few and far between. Yeah. Between um, visits. To our to our channel subscribers, life's just been busy. I mean, we still like the channel. We still like whiskey, but we oh, we've made... been drinking just without you. <laughs> we just, you know, we're going to do it as we have time and as we have the passion to do it. No pressure. There might be times we crank out one a week and sometimes we only do one, one or two a month. You know, my, the spirit for it has really, uh, gone downhill since my, uh, my, uh, written attacks on my, my <laughs> beverage of choice on, on a desert <laughs> island. Uh, I told you when you said it, I was like, <gasps> some, oh no, some disagree with a warm, <laughs> a warm Coors <laughs> on a summer Coors? summer eve mm. on a stranded mm. inlet. Shake it, shake that hot beer up. <laughs> <laughs> nah. All right, so Dave has not had this. I didn't do that. I've had this obviously, but I didn't get notes for it. So we're just going straight off Ooh. the cuff, off the cuff. Yeah. What do you get on the schnoz? Okay, so I, I see that that oh sherry, but man, that is strange. It's a different. So I'm getting some leather notes, some of the the sherry notes, uh, the dark fruits, some raisins. Really, I was gonna say like chili flakes, like, like spicy, like some bitter prunes. Yeah, there is seriously like uh, there's Deep, a sticky prunes. Yeah, something. Mm. I like Brenda. You don't like a little prunes. bit of grit. Yeah. I I do like. Mm, no, you told no, me before. I like you, plums. You I like prunes. plums. I like plums. I prefer them prunes, in their. I prefer I like them prunes. in their their moisture <laughs> form. <laughs> prunes are so sticky, moist. I love me some prunes. 
Put some more in it, sir. Please put some more juice in, please. Some delicious bonfire peat. Yeah. Saltiness. Little tad bit of chocolate. Dark chocolate with like spicy chili flakes. Reminds me of like a kind of like a, a little bit of beef jerky. Yes, there is a very meaty <clears throat> slash savory. Just the savory, peppery. Beef jerky for sure. Yeah, yeah. I don't think we've have we ever said beef jerky. I think we've said like umami. We've said and, meat, and but never beef jerky yeah, before, yeah. dude. And that is spot. That is a connoisseur's note, sir. I I I commend you. I, <laughs> I commend you, Daddy. Good sir. Who's down there? <laughs> I think I told Lindsay you were coming over. She's like, who who are you talking to? Who's that man you let in? <laughs> okay, so um. A little floral. A little marshmallow, like with like a heat ton of ash. So Burnt I just had marshmallow. I just had it s'mores like, today. Yeah, and I just told like him a about it. Lit, a lit fire marshmallow. <laughs> with a yeah. crap ton of ash to put on that marshmallow. I just I just don't like s'mores. <laughs> I'm about to trigger Keith. All right. I just told him about a little little fight me and my wife got in over s'mores i was trying to get my son to try it and uh i told him i was like buddy because as a parent we're supposed to let our you know try our kids to like try new things and he, this has been two or three bonfires now that i have not made him try it but mind you he likes graham crackers he likes marshmallows and he likes hershey chocolate so he likes all three ingredients but he won't try them together so, so i told him today hold on you guys you need to speed through it i told him today if you try it I'll give you a bar of chocolate. If you don't like it, you can spit it out. You don't have to have any more. And then you can earn a bar of chocolate for being brave. She's like, no, no. And he ran in, ran in. And um, my wife, he comes out and my son's like, eh, like shaking this like chocolate bar. And I went, we'll get into it. So I was obviously pretty not thrilled that my wife undercut me, but I love her. She's beautiful. I was so. just going to say, man, we have this video of my mom would make this stuff that was jello and banana and marshmallow or like fluff marshmallow fluff and my brother we had like one of our earliest videos is like my dad force feeding my brother this <laughs> you will eat the fluff you like jello you like so when you were saying to christian you like graham cracker you like marshmallow you like chocolate why don't you like it together? <laughs> it just reminded me of watching this video of my dad. Like, you like Joe? You like banana? You like fluff? He didn't have to do it. It's just he wasn't gonna get a bar of chocolate. So if you you can have it if you're brave. If you don't want to have it, you don't have it. I think he, I think you should specify uh, from anyone. He thought, oh, I just won't get it from Daddy. I know who I can get it from. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, what other notes we get? Oh man, so burnt marshmallow for sure for me. A little bit of um, black top, like so. A lot of times yeah, you get this yeah, with Ardbeg. Yeah, yeah. With Ardbeg, you get this notes. It's like black top, definitely um, some some diesel uh, oil slash asphalt. Yeah, it smells like a uh, very in medicinal with black top and like industrial oils, mm. but in the best way. <sighs> so there's so many notes. It's in there. so intriguing because it, it if you're chasing a note. I feel like some of the sweetness of the sherry kind of makes it. That beef jerky nose note though, spot on. All right, we got pepper? peppercorn. Well, speaking of peppercorn, pepper, a lot of peppercorn mm. with the industrial oh, yeah. oils, asphalt, burnt marshmallows, Dude. chocolate, spicy chili flakes. If you've ever spent some time around uh, sealing some blacktop. You're right on with that. It, it's very faint. I mean, not faint, but it, it doesn't overwhelm the rest of it. It's not like, ooh. But man, that. I found as I get into whiskey, I surprisingly like some things, like notes I wouldn't think I would like. Yeah. Like sour, acidic mm. notes that I get in Springbank. Like raisin wine vinegar. <laughs> From your Ball Blair 1990. Ball Blair. People did not agree with that comment either. <laughs> Hey, it's your opinion. Take it or leave it. You can 
I have a dram on me. Have a have a warm cures on Coors me. Cures on cures. me. Tap the Rockies. Tap those Rockies. Um. Okay, so palate as well. Peppers there. Those those prunes are definitely still We're there. Back. And it chocolate. has a uh, yeah, it has a very dry feel to it, like uh, flannel. Yeah, linen. Like I'm licking a shirt. Mm -hmm. I'm with you on that. Very drying. Yeah, but then also mouth watering. It's kind of got that Highland Park. It's mouth watering and drying all at the same time. I think it's the feel. Beef jerky's back. Beef jerky. <laughs> Beef. Oh, stop it, doing some Jim. Ah. R.I.P. Randy Savage. Do you, do you remember uh, Ready to Rumble? That crown me, crown me, crown me. Oh yeah. Any other notes you got? Mm. Man. Yeah, it makes yum, you. Yum. It smacks you. Smacks your lips around. This is um, this one is not for the faint of heart. I'll say that much. So. I, little bit that chocolate note is there for for me it is definitely like a dark chocolate mm -hmm. it is not a milk and there's chocolate. a certain candy and it's like it's got dark chocolate and it's also infused with like red red hot like spicy chili flakes mm. this is like totally it mm -hmm. a lot of like there's some whiskey guys that really like peated whiskey and they often have these chocolates with it I think, this, I think George even maybe gave me some at one point. This does remind me of it. just red pepper flakes. Um, but it's got, it's got that salt, uh, that saltiness to it. But it almost has a... Dude, this is so weird. So the peppercorns, the red pepper flakes got me thinking of Parmesan. Has this like bit of this cheesiness uh, i don't know like a like a dry cheese i know exactly so, what you're talking about and i agree i don't know i just had a leftover from olive garden i put like the homemade parmesan cheese yeah, 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 yeah. and it's in there yeah 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 totally yeah i know what you're talking it's almost like a texture almost smell yeah, and, and also too I, i'm sure there's some smokiness to is there some sm smokiness to a a uh, parmesan cheese I don't no think so. i don't think they smoke it anyways Hey, there's one. Man, the fantastic. last thing that How reminds about, me of, yeah. um, weathered line for you non non sailors. Line is a rope in the naval terms. Reminds me of my Coast Guard days in the boats, in the boats, in the boat houses with the leather, tying them the knots. weathered lines, tying them not, learning them knots. I, wish I, I, I totally forget. Knots. I'm sure I could do a couple. I forget most of them. I was just talking to already. talking to Ben about it. Because he was asking me, like, to make a slipknot for him. And I was like... <laughs> slipknot? <laughs> <laughs> no, not Slipknot, the band. Like a... Uh, a Slipknot. A Slipknot. I hope he wasn't going to go after the cat. Dude, we got a cat in our front yard. He's got some hanging to do. Dude, 7.30 every night, it goes past our front... Just goes right past on our front lawn... And it makes our dog go crazy. And our our child goes, our youngest child goes to sleep at seven. So at seven thirty, Nellie's like, Wah! last story. I swear, and we'll get to a score. Um, I have to Not say that I'm gonna hang the cat. Talking about like hanging a cat or whatever. So when now I, remember, I throw remember, it in a river. Remember when I was remember when I was a manager at a mental health facility? Oh yeah. All right, so one of my workers, Aww. okay, some of the like direct care workers, you kind of get what you pay for. They're not getting paid a whole lot, so it's kind of like. And I, he was my favorite worker there. I want to preface this: like I loved him. He was so hardworking, but he was like a felon, and he he had a rough past. He grew up, and one time he was telling me and my assistant manager the story. He's like, yeah, when I was a kid, like I like remember I like put this rope around this cat, and I was just like dragged him through this lake and I was like get over here and I like grabbed him through it and we were just like looking there like in horror like what you murdered this cat and Dude. dragged him with a rope through the lake where is this kid now <laughs> where is he this, I think like he's we need like, to he figure was, out he was, if like, he's he was like, close like the, by he was like the hardest working like nicest yeah, guy you know what but like he clearly grew up in a very Rough, like I yeah. mean anti-social let's be honest if you grow up in a family where they don't love you and they beat you 
unfortunately you, you're gonna grow up to like hate and have a lot of hate i feel like life. you just and you're missing those bridges that bridge that that, that connect you to that, humanity yeah yeah i think he has it now in his own age but there was still a little bit because he like didn't have any remorse we were just like and well, after he walked out of the room after telling the story and we just like looked at each other like did he just <laughs> he's like strangling this cat and dragging him through like this pond so, so like i wonder i wonder what a kid would do with an animal if you never taught them how to treat like an animal or if like you know how like from an early age whatever your belief system is keith and i growing up in a christian household be good stewards of of your that's why keith and i are both on board with uh, hey if if solar power, you look at the kid. But like, we'll do whatever it takes to like. If 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 climate change is going to ruin, we should the world, be good stewards. Be good stewards yeah, of the world. Absolutely, yep, I totally agree with it. I, so. I'm a so Dan Cranshaw, a guy who I like, a representative. He said, "I am a a rational environmentalist." There you go. Not a radical environmentalist. Right, I'm right. a rational. Yeah. Am Don't I willing use... to completely throw our entire economy and make people go without power and like starve? No. But if we can do certain things... Here we are. We haven't even gotten to the... <laughs> we're Whoops. Getting, hey, we don't care. We're getting real Whoops. controversial now. Whoops. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> what do you got on that finish there, fella? <laughs> I said I'm a rational environmentalist. No, no, no. no I'm, I'm goofing around. I just... YouTube, don't shut us down. <laughs> if we get shut down because I said I'm a rational environmentalist. Alert, Dan Crenshaw, alert. <laughs> Just like pirate somewhere there was just like a like a symbol <laughs> blinking. Have you seen the SNL skit? Yes, yeah. it's funny. No. Anyways, so uh, let's just skip the finish. Now nah, we'll do the finish. No, for no. me, it's a very long finish actually. For a ten year old, me too. It all that beef jerky, mm -hmm. the spicy red hot chili flakes with dark chocolate, linen, asphalt, diesel, it bonfire stays. like and marshmallows with ash on it. This is one of the more steadier drams as far as nose, palate, finish. It, it has a very good carry through on all of the notes, I would say. Floral kind of fought, fades away um, because I just think it's overpowered with the uh, ABV and the, uh, yep. and the peppercorns. <laughs> Lots of peppercorns. Yeah, the, the pepper is dancing on my tongue now. So what are you going to give this mm. out of 100? So probably because I haven't seen Keith in a couple weeks, and this is a good dram. But uh, man, I I did enjoy this, and I have liked the past couple uh, cherries and past couple uh, peated. So cherry and peated together, I'm gonna give this a uh, a very high 86.5, and I'm gonna go 88. Okay. Um, an amazing 10 year old delicious fantastic it, it wasn't Every cheap time. it wasn't cheap but it wasn't like crazy expensive either well well spent 10 year old oloroso cast strength whiskey i would always have it on the bar i would buy it again without hesitation 88 out of 100 um and that's really high for for some of the whiskey that, we, that we've had nowadays that i've had with mike and dustin and just all the whiskey i've tried for a 10 year old to get an 88 like that's a high score yeah so yeah um, question of the night, even yeah, though yeah. we've already talked a bunch already. That's all right. Uh, question of the March night. Madness. Our, obviously, our bracket is busted. Ohio, Ohio State, State is gone. Oral Roberts. Maybe we should pick them. I mean, they looked amazing. So that's where uh, that's where like every televangelist has gone to school. I know. Uh, Tim, my brother-in-law, he's from the South. He's from Louisiana. So we have LSU, Ohio State, just the rivalry. He obviously always dogs me whenever we lose. He's like. Did you guys just lose to a name it claim it school? <laughs> I said yes, we did. <clears throat> Ironically right. enough, he grew up Pentecostal. So my final four, I have Creighton. That's who you think's gonna make it? Yep. I have Villanova. Ooh, I got them. I have Florida. Oh. Dark horse. And I have Iowa. Ooh. Iowa? Iowa. That's I my final four. Good. So, are, I just think that uh I think that this year nobody knows. And so I thought the Big Ten was a lot better than it was. So I think all the number one seeds are gonna get exposed. I don't know. Gonzaga. So I watched one game. I did get to watch a little bit. I literally 
I thought Gonzaga. Was Gonzaga better. looks. I thought they were way overrated. I literally they saw a dude. Tough. He went through one leg, went through the other, and then threw it off the backboard to someone. That, like they're like looking like the Harlem Globetrotters in like the NCAA tournament. I'm like, they look yeah. like an NBA team right yeah. now. So Gonzaga, Villanova, Baylor, Michigan. I I still think one Big Ten has got to represent. Yeah. Um. So that's my final four. And it's Iowa. Yep. And then I think Gonzaga is gonna win. But Iowa, man, I I would not be surprised though. They're playing pretty good too. I just think I don't know anything this year because yeah. I had I State uh, going to the Final Four. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, Roberts, man, they they named it and they claimed that they claimed that victory. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and remember. Yes. Bourbon is best. Sometimes.